where much larger providers have, have told uh, communities and community anchor institutions it's going to be weeks, months, years uh, to get this connectivity up and running, especially in a COVID context. Um, our folks have been able to do that in time periods of much, much shorter. Uh, and that speaks to the dedication that they have for, for those communities. And part of the benefits of, of fixed wireless is that ability to deploy quickly and to deploy cost effectively. That's why we as an organization have advocated for, for flexibility and for allowing uh, both providers and communities to choose the right tool for the job so that you're not forcing a company to deploy fiber through hundreds of miles of, of granite rock or forcing a company to deploy fixed wireless through acres and acres of pine trees. Uh, we don't want a one-size-fits-all solution because America is not one-size-fits-all. Uh, what works in the plains of Nebraska won't work in the mountains of West Virginia. And I think we need to educate policymakers, both at the federal and the state level, uh, why that is the case and, and why our companies, our member companies who, who are in those communities are able to understand those uh, deployment challenges, those deployment opportunities uh, better than uh, Washington bureaucrats may be able to do.